My disability is Usher syndrome. And what that means is that I am vision impaired and also hearing impaired. And in the sport of triathlon, I actually compete against other people who are vision impaired as well. I'm currently ranked number three in the world in the vision impaired men's category. My name is Jonathan Gerlach and I'm a vision impaired triathlete. Uh, myself and my competitors, we all race with a, a sighted guide. When I race, I don't actually race on my own. Sam is my sighted guide and we've been racing together for two and a half years. We don't actually have to get together too often for training because I can actually still train on my own. I can follow the black line on the bottom of the pool. I can run on the cycleway myself with the right lighting. And all of my bike training is indoors on my stationary trainer. When Sam and I do get together, it's usually a couple of weeks out from the race uh, so we can get some practice on our tandem bike. So as we're ready to go when, when it comes race day. So when we race, we swim side by side with a tether. When we ride, we ride a tandem bike. And when we run, we're tethered together in the run as well. My proudest moment isn't when I've won a race, or being ranked number three in the world, or even qualifying for a Paralympic Games. My proudest moment is when I receive messages from young kids who also have vision impairments and disabilities, who tell me that they've read my story somewhere, or watched my race, and they tell me that I've inspired them to want to be an athlete too. It was in 2015 when I found out the devastating news that my disability category wasn't going to be in Rio. I was lost. I'd been training for five years at that point with the goal to qualify for Paralympic Games and through no fault of my own that was taken away. I know I would have qualified but unfortunately the politics of sport meant that I wasn't going to have that opportunity to be on the starting line in Rio. A voice inside my head just said I've got to keep going until I achieve this goal. I know that it's going to hurt every time, not just physically, but mentally. Knowing that I'm there on my own and I need to push myself to get through the session. And there's no stopping, there's no traffic lights, there's no riding in a bunch, chatting to your friends. It's just you on the bike, just pushing, all for the moment.